Students, in this question, we will learn to find the volume of a cone. Now, you have to draw the x-axis and the y-axis. Now, the height of the cone is given to be as h. So, it's a right circular cone. So, let us assume this point to be as some h. And we draw the line. And this line is x is equal to h. Now, you can shift this line immaterial of what height you want okay so this is variable in other words you can change the height so if you want a small right circular cone you fix the value of x to be accordingly so that is the understanding of this line x is equal to h now this point is 0 comma 0 and this point is going to be h comma 0 now the base radius is given to be as r unit so we can add the r to be somewhere over here. So this can be the base radius. Okay. Now, the line that we are trying to revolve will be this line. Okay. That connects the origin with a point on x is equal to h. So we will be revolving this line and generating the volume. So this line will have a equation right so that would be y is equal to now since we know that x is equal to h and naturally this line should be of the form y is equal to r over h times x okay so we will be revolving this line now if you revolve it you will be generating the cone okay and that is the required shape whose volume we need to find v is equal to pi times x is equal to a to x is equal to b y squared times dx this is the formula we know so this is going to be pi times integral now, I would be revolving the line y is equal to r divided by h times x above the x-axis. So, that's going to be from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to h and y squared. My y is r divided by h times x. So, it's going to be r over h times x raised to the power 2 times dx. I can rewrite it as pi times integral 0 to h r squared divided by h squared times x squared times dx which is pi times r squared h squared integral 0 to h x to the power 2 times dx. I integrate this I get pi times r squared divided by h squared times x to the power 3 divided by 3 limits are 0 to h. I apply the limits I get pi times r squared divided by 3 times h squared the limits is going to be applied so that's h so that will give me h cubed no need to apply the lower limit it's naturally zero this can be rewritten by cancelling the denominator h squared with the ones with the numerator so that will give me h times pi times r squared divided by 3 i can rewrite it in the usual form which is 1 over 3 pi r squared h so the required volume of the cone is equal to 1 over 3 times pi r squared h cubic units okay that's the solution